Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about getting started with Nuxt IM, Identity and Access Management, which is an authentication starter app. And once you download or clone the repo, this is what you got to do, right? So we've uh, cloned the repo here, we've downloaded the app. And if you want to find out instructions on how to do that, just click the link below this video so you, you, you can get yourself your own Nuxt 3 fully authenticated starter kit with powerful authentication so let's get a terminal here and this is a complete nux3 view uh you know nux3 app so you we don't really need to download nux3 itself the app itself is nux3 and it is the latest nux3 as of this day you know it's um where, where is it it's right here 3.2.3 .3. okay and my little baby is crying he's 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 only two two months old <laughs> Hey buddy. Okay, so what we gotta do here then is just that the first thing that you wanna do is just copy env.example, right? Control C, Control V, because this contains all your environment variables that you need. Okay, but then you're gonna change the copy into just dot env. My little boy just woke up and you, you you need all these environment variables but the most important one right now is this one the database url this requires you to have an actual database so right now we're just using mysql so you need to have a database username database password database server database port and database name so i'm going to set up my database real quick here so I'm just going to create a new da database here using PHP, my admin, and we're just going to call this Nuxt IM like that, create that database. And that's all you need. So there it is. And then I'm going to go back to VS code and I'm just going to say the root, the, the user here is root. There is no password. So I'm going to get rid of that. If you have a password, you have to put it there. The database server is localhost. The port as you might know, is 3306. And I give you, the, there's an example right there. And then the database name is Nuxt IM, like that. I'm gonna save that. And then after that, what you need to do is run yarn to install all your um, node modules. All right, so I just run yarn right there. And as you can see, it is downloading all the node Modules. This is a uh, kind of a complex app in the back end, you know. So I go step by step and just explain how all this works. So once you have that, once you have your node modules done, and you want to have node already installed, of course, and you want to have 16.16 or greater, you know. So once that's done, then we're going to continue. All right, so that's done. The next thing we need to do is we need to prepare the database. So we're using Prisma and you don't really need to know Prisma, but it's very, it's kind of helpful that you do. So Prisma has a schema and the schema is sort of a model of what your database looks like, right? So we have um, a user database here. We're using MySQL and this is the environment va variable that we get where the, our database is located. So you have all this already done for you, but what we need to do is tell Prisma to create these tables. Each of these are tables in our database. And the way we do that is we run npx prisma migrate dev. So it's gonna create, it's gonna create a migration, which is like um, a modification to the database. So let's run that. You're gonna see something will change up here. Creating migrations. All right, we're gonna enter a name for the new migration. We're just gonna call it initial migration. Oh, you can call it whatever, really. But that's the name. All right, then you see here your database is, oh, that's right away. Your database is now in sync with your schema. Right, and you have a migration there. And if you wanna, you run migrations to make sure that 
you can roll back your database in case you like say you wanted to change a table name or change uh, or add another table you do that with migrations that's the best way so let's look at our table here when we go back to our tables here uh let's go back to next am and as we can see see that we have all these tables here that prisma added for us so that's all you need to do and you're ready to go now all you need to do right now is just run yarn dev once you run dev you should have this see just um yep run yarn dev i want to see where i run that here can't even see it okay yeah then you have that so let's take a look at that i think it was still building is nitro built is it there all right there it is and that's how you get started with your own powerful nux3 authenticated starter kit all right next time we're going to take a look about take a look at the concept and what really is nux i am it says secure access simplified it's a pretty uh beefy app but i think you're gonna love it because it will secure your app all right i'll talk to you soon yeah and if you want to get your own nux authenticated starter kit and get more tips that are not available on youtube click the link below and you get more tips on building powerful nux3 applications i'll talk to you soon